Well, let me ask you this. New board, old shoes, old shoes, new board, new shoes, new board, whatever, you know, what, what, what's a combo there? I mean, everybody knows that new board, old shoes, totally fine. But, um, but new shoes, old board. Ruthless. <laughs> that is a bad day. Uh, I I will disagree on a rough that. Time. I no, why would you disagree? Uh, the shoes are so much thinner now that it's easy, easily easily like they're in. not as thick. Back in the day, dude. That yeah, that was that was yeah. nuts. Mm. They're a lot thinner now, so I feel like it's a lot easier to break in your shoes right away. And I, I like that. Yeah. I like that. For me, the flick of a brand new pair of shoes. Because they're usually skate suede with a, you know, ma- a mob grip tape. It's good grip tape. It lasts for a long time. It keeps the grip. Keep, you know what I mean? So oh, okay. Okay. I, th- I thought this whole pitch of bullshit that you were spraying was so that you could sell shoes. I'm both of them, here. dog. Yeah, you <laughs> believe this, dude? He's like, nah, dude, new shoes, old boy. Don't waste your money on a board. You got these new shoes, though. I'm not, I'm literally think that way, though. I mean, regardless of what it is, like, I mean, unless I'm skating some old pair of shoes, like from back in the day. But But see, that's why these two questions are interesting, you know, because everybody's different. And you're, you know, I mean, ideal world, Chris, what would it be like new shoes, new board? Ideal world. I mean, you're Uh, pro, you get shit. Ideal, ideal world. I always have be like worn out, worn out shoes, worn out shoes, world. new board. You know that, you know that, uh, that scene in the beginning of black Swan when Natalie Portman's like beating up the ballet slippers and like ripping yep. them out and customizing them. That's how I want my shoes. I want, I'll roll, I'll drive over them, really? break them in. <laughs> I'll put them yeah, behind the back tires, back out of the, back out of the driveway. Mike but microwave was I, a big thing. Used to be my oh, yeah. my shoes. Put them in for ten seconds. Yeah. Good to go. Did that work? That's right. I never used it, but I've seen people. I, did, I would try it. People do that shit yeah. all the time. Yeah. I feel like I see Nigel Nigel for sure post stuff like that. Yeah, I don't know if it works. But oh, I does he do it? Yeah. See, yeah. I never, I never really ran that one. I just feel like that would just be hot feet. I just put them like put them to the street. Just beat them up. There's just good, there's another skate. placebo effect. You throw them in the microwave. It works. <laughs> what well, do you 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 feel like right. it molds it to your foot a little better? Right. You know because right. it's soft. And right. Can, like and that rubber gets a little soft. Yeah. yeah. But what if my foot was acting the fool at that moment and doing something stupid? Because you know, like sometimes you'll you'll put in your your feet and you'll be like curling your toes dumb and <laughs> there'll be something <laughs> wrong and then now they're broken in that way. Like, now gotta, they have to stay that way. Yeah. You could re- yeah, right. reheat them in the microwave. You could do a little adjust reheat. Adjust a little. Yeah, adjust. a little reheat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you. Also, like the disclaimer of this is that us talking about new shoes, new board, it's like we get that that's posh. Okay, we're talking first world problems here. Oh, uh, by yeah, 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 get yeah. Free 100%. Stuff. But yeah, but, you know, I ideally, if we're talking perfect world, I want, I want, three week old or two week, two week, three week old troopers and a mm. new, uh, like a crispy new board. Are you talking about two or three weeks skated every day in them or just kind of, I mean, walking I'm, in, I'm, like, I'm picturing who like who skates every day. <laughs> you might, I know. I don't know. You might skate every, day. skate every day. I'm just no, picturing these beat up holy shoes that you like and a brand new board. No, man, like shoes hold up, man. Yeah. Shoes, shoes that aren't like vulcanized shoes break down a little bit faster. Right? That's yeah, true. We that's know true. that. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but cup sole shoes, dude, they last. Man. Oh, you're a cup sole They dude? last. Yeah. You're a cup sole guy. Okay. Yeah. By nature. Like I, uh, I, yeah, I it's a flick that you can rely on. Uh, you know where it's going. Hmm. Um, I'm a cup sole dude through and through, but I'll, I'll take it to some bulk like rippers after I get that edge worn down, got to get the edge. Once that edge is worn, and yeah. and I'll take them, I'll take them brand new and just scrape that all over my brand new grip tape and just <sighs> yeah. dig them out. Yeah. Well, I felt Bring it like down a little bit. I feel like the vulcanized it has a better flick to it. Like mm. it has more of a flick, not a consistent flick. Does that make sense? Totally, it grabs. Yeah, it grabs, grabs mm-hmm. so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the the cup sole, like you said, it's like something you could easily rely on. So. 
you know when when you do a kickflip and it really grabs and it does it tries to do this front foot backward impossible yeah, thing and it <laughs> cracks you in the knee yeah. right mm-hmm. that thing that's what i get almost always out of a vulcanized <laughs> soul and so if i'm trying to do any of like the twirly bird like back three flips and stuff like that Oof. you know it's going to be it's going to be cup soul for sure i can't right. put that type of like torsion on a uh yeah, on a backside yeah. flip with some ball. On oh, a backside flip is the yeah number one. Ooh. Gets ringed up in your legs. Thing holds on for dear yeah. life. It's yeah. crazy. It's trying to stick to that thing. I want like the John Alley kickflip gun. Ooh, from Dying to Live, where he was just firing kickflips into everything, and it's it's the same kickflip each time. Oh, Dude, it's hey, speak, textbook. Speaking of him and what, the new generation of that, I feel like it's Chris Weimer with his kickflip. Right? Yeah. Like, it's got, like, Dude. his kickflip is unreal, too. Dude, I saw him do a kickflip tuck knee. Mm, damn. Yeah. Down, like, a five block. <laughs> and he did it. He did it so easy. He kickflips. He just grabs it indie and just cranks it. The tuck knee is always tripping kick- me out. A little John Thomas. Kickflip just is real. <laughs> really? Out, man. Yeah, just how do you do that? I can't uh, you you know, be stretchy. how to yeah. pull that back Can you up. Japan? Uh, you gotta be stretchy too. You gotta be stretchy yeah, with that one too. I can do a little backside grab, you know, a little bump or something. That's right. Uh, a little method grab, yeah. you know? A little Japan though, but I can't tweak it. I used to do little Japans. Yeah. Can't do oh, a Mike really? Carroll okay. style? Little not, Japan. Not no, a Mike no, Carroll style? No. no. Oh my Dude, gosh. Mike Carroll style. It's like, Ooh. yeah, it's like Mike Carroll, Tommy Guerrero. Those oh, are like, Tommy wow. G. I mean, those are the ones. Know. I mean, yeah, it's. I'd but like Mike Carroll, like street, street dude ripping a Japan like that is. Woo. Mike's still doing those so things. Real. Oh yeah, That's man. So sick. Yeah. Pilates dude, helps. I've never <laughs> Oh dude, I've never done a Japan like that ever in my life. And they probably feel sick. Oh my oh. god, I'm sure. I think anything you roll away from just feels sick. And that goes without being said. I don't know. Sometimes I've rolled away from tricks and been like, that was stupid. I, I mean, it does happen. I hope happen. nobody saw me. It does happen. It does happen. It does happen. 